There they are. Oh, there they are. Guys, we on this morning, we are out here headed to our duck pond. And uh, we're going to do some work on it, brush it. And on our way, we got a school of porpoises, like right underneath the feeding. Trying to get them, I tell you. I, Look, there they are right there. It's not all they They're right under the pool almost. There they are. Right underneath us. I think they're curious what we're doing. There they are, dude. Right under the pool. Look See if we can. Morning, guys. We uh, me and Jude out this morning. We're trying to do a little work on the, our uh, duck blonde out here to wax. And then crossing, going where we're going to meet them, going to the blonde. We got a school of porpoises that we're playing with that are uh, all around us. I thought it was pretty cool. Trying to see if I could get some better clips of them. But Eddie they ordered right underneath us. Sometimes they'll come right alongside the boat. They're feeding on something. I'll tell you, we ain't but about 500 yards from our blind. They're right there. Look, there they are. There they are. They're coming up. I wonder if I sometimes you cut the uh, sometimes you cut the deal off. They'll just come right next to the boat. That is pretty cool, Jude. Man, I tell you, God is so good. He gives us so much to enjoy. Yeah, I was waiting for him to come up. I was hoping he'd come up again. Yeah, the school of them is right in front of us now. Anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. You know, like I said, we only probably, I don't know, we might be seven, 800 yards from the blind. And when I was picking the other day about uh, we could catch redfish from our blind, I wasn't exaggerating. Jude and I had a wonderful experience a little while ago. We got to our blonde, and the blonde is gone. All the fresh, I'm talking about there's nothing left to our blonde. I'm talking about one stalk of willows, and there's nothing left. So we've come inside the marsh to start trying to get some brush. We had a little bit, but not enough. And uh, we might... Uh, we might go find another spot that's not so much open water. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, <laughs> that doesn't work very well. All right, load them up. We're gonna take this. This is the second load we're gonna make, and uh, we finally find a spot that we could actually start a blind in. We had just a hair bit of mud. And so we're cutting willow trees, trying to peg us off a pretty decent lawn. We, uh, we, we're making our second load of brush to this blonde. We started from scratch. The other blonde we had was no more. And, uh, I think his spots could be pretty good, Jude. I mean, we're not where I want to be, but we found a little spot where there was a little bit of mud. We could get our blinds stuck. And, uh... Well, I guess we're looking at the finished product. Judah. 
He's been working on his thing. I think we hauled three or four loads of Willis. Willis not the best brush in the world, but it's pretty square looking. I mean. Water probably come up now. When the water goes out, dude, you know, we're gonna lose that bottom completely. Be empty or put down. I'll have to stick some, yeah, shallow stuff in there. You know, back door. And that looks pretty I think it looks pretty good. Great. Now, we got to figure out if we can figure out how to get out of here. Well, my brand new motor running down the canal. All of a sudden, she quit pulling, and I have no prop, and the shaft broke. I don't know what to think about that. And we are... 22 miles to the nearest boat landing and the phone service doesn't work very well and uh, this this is definitely <laughs> hey Jude at least the wind's blowing in the right direction oh this is terrible man yeah well there's a campground over there about three miles from here and uh, you're gonna make three miles with a paddling with a push pull. Well, I tell you, we were going down, we were headed home, we were all happy, we got done what we wanted to do. Called it day. Yeah, that's a pretty big alligator over there swimming. And uh, we were just watching some ducks, and all of a sudden, I mean, I didn't hit anything, it did nothing, it just went to nothing. Life of a duck hunter, boy. Oof.